awards an AGC assault and an assembly bill. All that and bracket advice in this week's punch list. Welcome to this week's punch list. Up first, legislation that could decrease legal costs and liability for contractors has made it through a panel of lawmakers, but it's far from a sure thing. Assembly Bill 773 would decrease the time limits for construction lawsuits set by the state's construction statute of repose. In English, that means that people will have a shorter time to sue construction companies over injuries sustained from what they call negligent design. The bill still needs Senate approval, however, and those pesky senators might not even touch it. Meanwhile, the AGC of America has spent much of the past week warning that Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminum will make matters worse for the industry. Stephen Sanher, AGC's CEO, said tariffs may help a few producers, but they harm contractors and anyone with a limited budget for construction. The best way to help the U.S. steel and aluminum sector, he added, is to continue pushing measures like regulatory reform and new infrastructure funding that will boost demand for their products as the economy expands. And finally, the Daily Reporter honored 22 rising young professionals of construction on Thursday night in Milwaukee. To see who was honored and to read their profiles, visit dailyreporter.com. As always, get the latest news online anytime at dailyreporter.com. Don't forget to register for our next big event, Top Projects of 2017. This has been your construction punch list for this week. Go easy on St. Patrick's Day and good luck with your brackets.